What's going on, KS Nation? As I said before, here with my first unboxing. This is my first in, un, I said unboxing. My first unboxing ever in my YouTube career. So I wanted to do with this. Um, as you guys know, <laughs> sorry for the voice. I'm dealing with sinus crap and all the stuff. I'm about to pop another cough drop right now because this is ridiculous. Anyway, like I was saying, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, if you guys watch any of my videos, then you know I've been in the process of purchasing a new laptop. The laptop that I had before, which is a Samsung, I've had that laptop since 2013. I've literally had that laptop since Windows 8 was out. So, needless to say, that laptop has served its purpose very well, but within the past couple of months or so, actually for most of this year, I'm dealing with the issue of it, you know, suddenly the screen would go black, then I would have to, you know, force reset it. Of course, then it'd be good for a while, but over time, it just got worse and worse. It wouldn't stay on for very long. Um, I'd be in the middle of something, and then it would just automatically cut off. Up to the point where it wouldn't even... I guess I could, the best way to put it would be it wouldn't be able to hold a charge. Um, have it plugged in. It'd be charged up, and even so, it would just go. This last couple of weeks have been... Actually, actually... All of December has just been a really rough month with the with my computer. It just wouldn't really turn on. It would turn on here and there. In fact, the last time it turned on was like maybe like a couple of weeks ago, and even that didn't last very long. So um, I'm not saying that my laptop is dead, dead, but I will say that it's there's there's no coming back for it as far as I can tell. I don't know if it's a this doesn't seem to be a battery issue because the battery seems to be fine. It's not the charger issue either. It's I think it's just the laptop itself. Um, I had purchased a um, Seagate one terabyte external hard drive. <laughs> my thought was that if I transferred all my YouTube material on it, that means all my hard copy videos that I've done ever since I started up until now, if I put that on the external hard drive, maybe that would take some of the pressure off the laptop. That unfortunately wasn't the case. And stupid me i didn't think the back of my entire hard drive so as it stands my laptop my old laptop is going to be staying i was going to be in my possession until i can retrieve everything else that's on the hard drive i'm hoping the tech gods here on youtube will bestow to me some information that so i can go about doing so but until then my old laptop will stay in my possession, but it is practically done. Fast forward to now, as I said, I was tar I was my target for my next laptop was going to be a gaming laptop. I think in order for me to increase the production value of my YouTube videos, not even just my YouTube videos, but filming in general, a gaming laptop will be the next best thing for me to get. Aside from them look being aesthetically aesthetically pleasing to the eye, I just like the way gaming laptops look. But I figured their processing speed, uh, memory space, as well as their graphics card would just be beneficial to producing better looking YouTube videos. So I had one saved on my um, Amazon. It was a, um, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I want to say it was an Asus Predator. I might have been the one that was, that I was gunning for. And the price was definitely reasonable. But past couple of days I started thinking to myself you know I am, am in real need of a new computer I was in real need of one and I didn't want to wait until I had enough money to purchase the laptop as well as you know have something sitting in the bank still so I changed my thought process I figured instead of just going for a gaming laptop let me just find a laptop that can better equip to handle video editing so that was my next step. So I started searching. Um, I had picked one on Amazon again, because Amazon's the only place I really go to these days. Uh, I found an Acer Aspire laptop that I thought was pretty good. It's a 15.6 inch screen, one terabyte, um, eighth generation, actually. And that was reasonably priced too. 
but you know, of course, with Amazon, it would take. A, I mean, even with Prime, it would take like you know two days to get here, which I don't normally mind. But then I started thinking maybe I could just go a little bit local. Maybe I can find one that's close to home that I can just purchase on the spot. That's when Staples came in. So I searched up on Staples. I have the app on my phone. I searched up and see what kind of laptops they had that would strong enough to be able to handle video editing. That's where I came across the one that I'm about to open for you guys right now. So... I'm going to say rest in peace to my old laptop. It has served me very well again. It's from Windows 8. I mean, I literally had it and it transitioned from Windows 8 to Windows 10. That's how long I've had my laptop. If it wasn't for my laptop, none of this YouTube stuff would have been possible, to be honest with you. But I cannot continue to hold off on doing videos because I need time to edit them or I need a place to edit them. Like, the past couple of videos, I've been editing them on the dojo's computer at my karate school i mean luckily i was able to you know edit the last one right here on my phone so that was a blessing that I was able to get that out for strata hd but it's time to move on without further ado let's get right into it shall we here it is folks it is in hp as the box says don't mind that little indentation at the bottom um i'm pretty sure everything in there is intact so Let's get right into this, shall we? Make sure I'm not coming into anything important. Yes, yes. Let's just open that up. Open that up. Yes. Of course, we got some questions about the product, you know, things like that. You know, stuff I'll read later. Of course, uh, here we got the nice clean crisp charger. As you can see, it is very well efficient. Three prong, which is perfect because I got extensions for that. I believe the charging port is on the right hand side of the laptop. So, that works for me. My other one was on the left hand side. Let's see. Where's the other part for us? Ah, here it is. Oh, there we go. Right. Well, might as well take it out too. Here's the second part. There we go. And now for the coup de grace. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Just. What is all this? Hmm. Huh. Set up instructions. <sighs> It can't be that hard. I mean, this is my first rodeo. So, whatever. I'll just look for that later. Warranty. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Put that to the side. And there it is. I went with the uh, silver look, of course. Um, I am a techie at heart, so... So, um, not only do I like how things function, I am definitely a fan of how things look. So, well, my previous laptop, which is all black, um, I'm definitely feeling the silver look on this one. This, of course, is the back end of it. Let's turn it around. This one possesses a 17 point three inch screen actually one of the criterias for my next laptop was that it had a big screen I, I'm i a, I'm a big screen guy that's just how I am um, so like I said the um, Acer that I was going to be getting beforehand was going to be a 15.6 uh, six inch screen but you know why do that when I can go for a 17.3 inch screen of course we're going to open it up Nice, sleek layout. No backlit keyboards, which is something I can deal with for now. Um, this does have a CD port, which I didn't really need, but it is what it is. Of course, got a USB right here. Oh, I thought the charger port was on this side. Hmm, guess I was wrong. 
Got an SD card slot as well. On the other side, of course, we have the extra USB ports, headphone jack, HDMI, which is always helpful. Got my uh, um, Ethernet cable jack, and of course, the charger port. Now, let's have a look at this screen here. Let me just adjust that for a little bit. And there it is, folks. That is a lovely looking screen. I am really interested in testing out the webcam function on this. The webcam function on my last laptop wasn't all that great. Granted, my last tap laptop was actually pretty old. When I bought it, it was still pretty dated for the most part. It wasn't really new. <laughs> so it, it was just the cheapest thing I could get at the time. Well, cheap enough that, you know, it um, you know, still did what I needed it to do. Um, this wasn't that expensive, actually. I only paid about a little over $400 for this. Um, I know most gaming laptops run about, you know, <coughs> well into the thousands and stuff. And um, unfortunately... <laughs> I don't have that kind of money right now. My, um, the one I had saved on Amazon, though, the, um, Ace, uh, Asus Predator, I believe, was only or a little over, it was over $800, which is actually isn't bad. If I really wanted to, I could have purchased that now, but that laptop wouldn't have taken, would have taken about a few weeks to get here. I probably wouldn't have gotten until, like, next month. And right now... Like I said, I really needed something like this. I needed a, I needed a new laptop. So I um I always look at things, especially as far as, as far as technology is concerned, as investments. So this is definitely an investment not only in my film project and my YouTube project, but just in myself as well. I am, um, as you guys know, I already have a new phone. I'm working on like. Galaxy Note 8, which is actually what I wanted to begin with, but, you know, other things came up and I had to improvise for the time being, but that's what we got right here happening so far. So there it is, folks, my new laptop. I am, I'll probably power it up tonight just to see what we're working with here. Um, as I said, the only thing I have left to do is to try to get the rest of my stuff off of my hard drive on my old laptop and transfer it over into my new one i did see something on youtube a while ago about how you can do it using a desktop so that's an experiment i will be trying out tomorrow but other than that i'm pretty sure this is going to serve me well i have no doubt about it just from just i i mean i did a lot of research just from the reviews and the specs and just from you know um the demo at staples I think this is exactly the laptop that I need right now. Will I get um, a gaming laptop later down the line? Probably. I probably will. Once I am more financially stable than I can do so, I will most likely get one just just because. But um, until then, hopefully, I can get a lot more use out of this. Like I said, my external hard, hard drive will come in handy with this. So, I am looking forward to getting it in with this so production of videos will start back real soon again hope you guys enjoy enjoyed this unboxing this won't be the last one you know other things that i get if you want to send me things to unbox everything's in the description box below be sure to check it out i will catch you guys later i'm out peace